أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولو أن للذين ظلموا ما في الأرض جميعا ومثله مع ومثله معه لفتدوا به من سوء العذاب يوم القيامة وبدا لهم من الله ما لم يكونوا يحتسبون وبدا لهم سيئات ما كسبوا وحاق بهم وحاق بهم ما كانوا به يستهزئون فإذا مس الإنسان ضر دعانا ثم إذا خولناه نعمة ثم إذا خولناه نعمة منا قال إنما أوتيته قال إنما أوتيته على علم بل هي فتنة بل هي فتنة ولكن أكثرهم لا يعلمون صدق الله العظيم These are ayats from Surah Az-Zumar the ayah number 47 and 48 and 49. Let's begin with the ayah number 47. And we will complete the ayah in this lecture. We have began, began the ayah uh, at the previous lecture. Astaghfirullah billah wa law anna lilladheena zalamu If those who did wrong to themselves or to others or to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we said that the first one of them and the most important of them which is unforgivable the injustice which caused to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not harm with this justice, injustice because he is in Allah he is free of all things he is free of the worlds subhanahu wa ta'ala but when human being did not give the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he did not when he does not acknowledge of them he caused injustice to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but uh, the harm of this of, of this returns to him in, to himself not to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this this injustice uh, that injustice those who did who caused injustice who made shirk in their belief those who did not acknowledge Allah, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that He is in control of all things. Those, if they had all that is in the earth, ma fi al-ard jami'an wa mithlahu an dawith wa mithlahu ma'ahu laftadahu bihi verily. They would, they verily would offer it to ransom themselves from the evil من سوء العذاب يوم القيامة from the evil torment of the day of resurrection لفتدوا به من سوء العذاب يوم القيامة We talked about the beginning of the ayah till here at the previous lecture من سوء العذاب يوم القيامة that the torment of that day the day of resurrection will be so painful and if the person had the earth and as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned elsewhere if it were to be an earth full of gold they would offer it to ransom themselves an earth full of gold they, w they would offer it so you can understand how the torment of that day is painful 
min su il adabi from the evil of that torment, they will try, if they had, they would offer it to ransom themselves. Laftadaw bihi min su il. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains the matter for us uh, over the things that we know, over the values that we know. We know how the world is uh, important, how it's, uh, how does it value. So subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if they had all that in the earth, entire the world, and therewith as much again, they would offer it. So consider how, reflect how the painful torment that is. Min su'il adhabi yawm al-qiyamah. وَبَدَى لَهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ مَا لَمْ يَكُونُ يَحْتِسِبُونَ And there will become apparent to them from Allah what they had not been reckoning. وَبَدَى لَهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ مَا لَمْ يَكُونُ يَحْتِسِبُونَ وَبَدَى لَهُمْ There will become apparent to them from Allah what they had not been reckoning. They were not reckoning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like that. They would reckoning him that subhanahu wa ta'ala is not, do not punish anyone. He is all forgiving. He forgives all things and he will not punish. He is so, he is too merciful so that he cannot punish anyone. They was considering about him in this way. But when they see, when, we, when they will see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punish them, with so painful torment, they will understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not the one whom they considered about when we leave. We thought about him that he, he cannot punish, he cannot take account to us and he cannot ask us, why did you that, why did you do that, why didn't you respect to me, even whatever, how much we disrespect him in our life Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala must forgive us he is going to forgive us some people considers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this way they think about him that he will forgive everything so this uh, consideration draw them uh, to the respectful disrespectful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they do not observe him. They do not feel any duty, any duty towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because they do not fear him. They do not fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because they think him that he will not punish them. If you think, if you think someone cannot punish you, cannot say anything to you, cannot uh, anger, with you so you can you do not you will not fear of him even you will not respect him because he cannot say anything to you do whatever you want do what you desire you will not be punished this is the way of kuffar this is the way of al mushrikun those who denied Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those who produced many deities other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in their understanding, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most important God, deity, and He owns all other deities, but He is incapable. He, he cannot do anything. He will forgive all things. Or if you do, if you want to do something, you should do through the other deities. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is passive in their consideration, and they do not respect Him. If you have some people, if you have some deities other than subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you appease them, if they are pleased with you, they will take you to paradise and they will make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pleased with you. So the importance on them, not on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All the things rest with them, not with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is their consideration, the belief of uh, al mushrikun the belief of the idolaters, the belief of pagans, they believe in this way. They have some deities other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether they are the daughters of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 
the angels like the mushrikun of Quraysh or in Christianity when they say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is three or he is the Jesus himself or he is the uh, Jesus Christ is the son of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all these considerations all these beliefs draws the person to a position that he can thought about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he's passive and the most important thing is the deity other than him the son of the God or the daughter of the God or the idols they are important you should please them you they will make Allah agree with you they will make Allah please with you so you should uh, please them first of all and you should bond to them before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they will solve the problem at that day but when they go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when they confront Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they will see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to judge himself and do not share his judgment with anyone else and they will see that whatever they did through their deities is shirk and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive them for their shirk which they committed in this life so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will punish them and when they will come to realize the punishments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepared for them they will understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not the one whom we taught in the life he is not passive he is in control of all things he provides whomever whatever he wants and he wants to judge between his servants himself and do not give the initiative for anyone else he is the one who is in control of all things and he punished them without uh, and they will not be able to escape from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَبَدَالَهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ مَا لَمْ يَكُونُوا يَحْتَسِبُونَ this is very bad situation for them مَا لَمْ يَكُونُوا يَحْتَسِبُونَ if you taught Allah if you think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in way that he didn't present himself it means that you are creating your God you are creating your God by yourself this is not the case you should listen to the wahi to the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you should realize you should uh, accept him as he present himself Allah subhanahu